What's going on everyone? Good evening. Sorry, uh, another late evening. Uh, I've been trying, it's upload night, been trying to get uh, tomorrow's uh, video uploaded, been having some problem with it um, for one, but I, th as far as the editing goes on that new software, I think it went pretty well. Uh, one of the things I noticed in the color grading um, that you're out in the ocean, there's an oversaturation of blue light, which, go figure. Um, but when you're in the shade, there's not that much um, red light. So what you have is uh, two color variations and getting them to match up and not distort the color has been tough. Um, what I think I need to do is put a polarized lens on my GoPro, um, which would be, is real easy with the five. The, the Max, there's no um, filters out for it yet, but what I think I'm gonna have to end up doing is get a um, adapter lens where you can take the original GoPro um, Hero 5 black lens cover off and you add in this, it's like a little aluminum bracket and you can put a 55, 52 millimeter uh, camera filter lens over it um you can do zero density lenses or polaroid polarized lenses and i think that'll help some of the picture and also cut down on a lot of the glare and that was one of the um i guess issues i've been you know tweaking with my own film um learning curve so to speak uh, i've noticed that the max doesn't have the glare issues that the five does and it may be because it's a newer camera for one so um but that was one of the i guess enlightening lightning enlightening things uh using davinci resolve um also had to learn how to do mask and you know put how to do watermarks so i got it down pretty well on iMovies. so uh, learning the new software and uh, I mean I'm not going to cut iMovies out completely because it's real quick uh, you can do a real quick down and dirty edit in 30 I'm down to where I can do one in 30 minutes if the content is good um, but if you're do, doing one of the longer videos um, it, I feel like I bring a better product to market so to speak um, figuratively speaking so um but that's it. I mean, that's pretty much what I got going on tonight. Um, I was hoping I could show it, but with my uploading issues, uh, had to get that squared away. Um, last night I had a couple people on, uh, another shout out to Fish on. I appreciate, uh, his support and his son Thor. Um, they both were, were on and I, I appreciate y'all's support. Um, but anywho, uh, we got a uh, little loop system that has come into the area. Uh, National Hurricane Center says it has a 90, per, I think. It's in the red, so it's like 100. I, I, I always take that as 100% in the next five days. It's going to turn into something. But uh, the hatch marks is uh, basically off our coast all the way up to New York. And uh, Mr. Calder, I hope you're doing well this evening down in Sneeds Ferry tuning in for us. So, but uh, Steve, I've just been going over some of the issues I've been having with uh, uploading a video and then talking about uh, my kind of experience using a new software on there. So, but I appreciate you tuning in, checking on me. Um, it's always been a pleasure to talk to you. Um, but with that, I think I finally got my uploading issues taken care of. And uh, well, I'm not going to do a live stream tomorrow because I got the big upload and I got some other things going on tomorrow. But I uh, look forward to trying to do another live stream on Friday. And uh, don't miss out on that upload or uh, tomorrow's video drop. I uh, think it's going to turn out pretty good. Uh, with that, I hope... Uh, Steve, take care. Hope you and your family's doing well. Hope uh, everyone else who watches this later on when I upload it on my other channels will uh, get some benefit out of it. So with that, have a good night. We'll catch you Friday.